Yo, what is up? We are back with another episode of Breaking 80. It's been a while, it's been too long. So we got a little change in plans here with the whole Breaking 80 series. Um, I've been reading your guys' comments, uh, seeing what you guys are saying. And I think I've realized maybe I've bit off a little bit more than I can chew. I, d I haven't really, I've gotten kind of close. I mean, I'm, I've gotten to like 81, I think was the closest I got to. The task of Breaking 80 still seems a little bit insurmountable. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm listening to your guys' comments, I'm, I'm reading them, I'm hearing you out. Um, number one, I'm thinking a lot more range time. Definitely need to get on the range more, work on my swing, um, work on keeping the strokes down, work on keeping the putting down. But then the second thing I'm gonna do, I was thinking about, you know, marathon runners don't necessarily just get out there and try and run a marathon. You train and you work your way up. So you, you run a mile, then you run two miles, then you run five miles, then you run 10 miles, then you run 20 miles, you know, and then you work your way up to the point where you're running a marathon. So I thought about it in the same in the same sense. Why don't I take that similar approach? Play three holes, see if you know I can shoot around par, maybe one over. Then play six holes, see if I can do the same, stay around par, you know, maybe two over, maybe three over. Then play nine holes, see if I can stay like four over, three or four over. Um, and then kind of piece it together like that up to the point where I'm confident enough to play 18 holes. And I have, actually have a legitimate shot of breaking 80. So that's what we're doing today. I'm playing three holes and I'm gonna see if I can stay. The goal is to be one over or less. Let's get right to it. So I had a pretty good drive there. I put myself in a good spot, but then second shot just got way too much of the ball. I was about probably 45 yards out, just got way too much and overshot the green. So we'll see if we can uh, get it back on, a little up and down for par here. <sighs> Put myself in a pretty decent spot here, not, not a bad chip. Let's see if we can uh, make a putt. Hey, there we go, baby. Not off to a bad start. Typically I don't make those, honestly. I was kinda, I was a little bit worried about that one, but we got it, we're good. We're even right now through one. So let's uh, let's see if we can keep that rolling, maybe get some more pars here. You better believe I made sure that one of the three holes we're playing is a par three, AKA a car three. If I get a hole on one, you have a chance to win a car. If you're subscribed, you gotta be subscribed. <sighs> we got about 200 yards to the pin. I'm gonna be using a four iron. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Let's uh, let's see what we got. All right, so no hole in one, but we are dancing, baby. We're dancing. So we're on the green. Uh, it's probably gonna be about a 60 foot putt, 70 foot putt. Not in the best spot, but we're dancing. We're on the green. Let's get it. There we go, baby, back-to-back -back parts. I honestly don't know if that's ever happened in the history of breaking 80, but I think this is what it is. It's a little mindset change. You only got three holes to play. You're thinking, you know what? It's not, it's not insurmountable. I might as well just, you know, focus on these three holes here and look what it does. Mental game, baby. We're building strength. We're even after two, so let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can replicate that on hole number three. Let's get after it. So we got a, uh, we got a short par four here. It's probably like maybe 300, 290 to the pin. So um, I'm just gonna go like four iron, just like I did in the last, we'll go four iron right up the middle. See if we can keep it on the fairway. See if we can, uh, see if we can hit the green and rag and then maybe, maybe two putt and then maybe, maybe make a par. I don't know. So made, made pretty solid contact there, but Definitely hooked it left. Um, we are in the tree, so we'll probably be punching out. Even if we uh, bogey this hole, we're kind of right where we want to be as far as, you know, through three holes, one over. You know, if you, if you can do that for 18 holes, you're breaking 80, baby. Oh. 
So I definitely didn't put myself in the best spot off the tee, but, and I had to like flop it over these big old trees, but maybe just hit the best shot of my entire life. I'm gonna be honest. I had about like 50 yards. So took my 60 degree, opened that club face up and just went for it. And somehow, somehow it ended up on the green. I have no idea how, it was amazing. So if breaking 80 was just a three hole thing, there it was, just broke 80. Unfortunately it's not, but I'll tell you what, that was a step in the right direction. I feel like kind of taking a little bit slower there, having only three holes to worry about. Um, I don't know, kind of helps your mindset. That was it, breaking 80. We'll call that breaking 80 episode seven. Appreciate you guys comments on here, appreciate the love. Um, also the tips, appreciate the tips. Um, definitely gonna have to go to the range and use some of those. So keep them coming. Appreciate you guys watching. Peace.